Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. May we request the President to witness the signing of the alliance document between the Partido Federal ng Pilipinas and the National Unity Party. Signing the alliance document on behalf of the PFP is PFP National President Governor Reynaldo Tamayo Jr. together with Special Assistant to the President Antonio Lagdameo Jr. and Deputy Majority Leader Ferdinand Alexander, Alexander Marcos III. Please be seated. Likewise, signing on behalf of the NUP is NUP Chairman Ronaldo Puno together with the NUP President Representative Luis Raymond Villafuerte Jr. and the NUP Secretary General Representative Al Albert Raymond Garcia. This alliance document not only symbolizes a commitment towards shared and common goals, but also marks a pivotal step towards achieving them. May we request all dignitaries to please rise. Partido Federal ng Pilipinas President Governor Tamayo and National Unity Party Chairman Puno will now present the signed document. Thank you and congratulations, Partido Federal ng Pilipinas and National Unity Party! We will now be all seated. At this juncture to deliver his welcome remarks, may we call on the NUP President, Representative Luis Raymond Villafuerte, Jr. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. His Excellency, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos, Sir. Secretary Anton Lagdameo. Our Senior Deputy Majority Leader, Ferdinand Alexander Marcos III. Our NUP Chairman, Secretary Ronnie Puno. The Vice Chairman, the following Vice Chairman of uh, NUP, Congressman Nepta Lee Gonzalez II. Vice Chairman, Congressman Romy Akop. Vice Chairman, Jerry Trenas. President of the PFP, Governor Tamayo. Sec Gen of the PFP, General Tom Lanchon. On behalf of the National Unity Party, I welcome the officers and members of the Partido Federal ng Pilipinas or PFP, along with my party mates in the NUP and our allies and guests to this morning's event that marks another watershed in the history of Philippine electoral politics. This is an auspicious day indeed as we gather here to best illustrate that true blue members of different mainstream political parties given the right motivation or inspiration, can transcend partisan politics or personal interests in pursuit of the long-aspired genuine transformation of our public governance, our economy, and our society. The National Unity Party or NUP shares the present vision 
for a prosperous and peaceful Bagong Pilipinas where no Filipino is left behind. We are thus proud to seal a formal alliance with the PS PFP as a splendid opportunity for both parties along with other like-minded groups to work together in advancing a Bagong Pilipinas that promises a robust and inclusive growth and development for all Filipinos. As the second biggest political group in Congress, the NUP has played a significant role in helping our President and his administration pursue and attain deep and fundamental transformations over the past two years leading to post-pandemic recovery. We, thank you. We in the NUP have matched our rhetoric of support for the President with action by giving our full backing to his major programs and policies in and out of the legislature. Hence, our formal alliance with the President's PFP this morning is but a logical conclusion of our two-year close working partnership with our Chief Executive and his administration. We are committing ourselves to this formal NUP-PFP alliance on our conviction that Bagong Pilipinas is not a mere slogan, but a genuine agenda. <laughs> to truly transform our economy, governance, and society, and one that will not come to fruition on its own, but will require very hard work from all of our people, including us members of the political mainstream. We are having a formal alliance with the PFP because the NUP is ready and willing to do the hard work that our president needs from all of us Filipinos for Bagong Pilipinas to become a reality. With this formal alliance, we in the NUP say, Onward Bagong Pilipinas! Onward with better lives for all Filipinos! Mabuhay ang ating mahal na Pangulong Bongbo Marcos! Mabuhay ang National Unity Party! Mabuhay ang Partido Federal ng Pilipinas! Mabuhay tayong lahat! Maraming salamat po! Thank you, Representative Villafuerte. Now, may we invite NUP Chairman Rolando Puno to, deli to deliver his message. His Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Secretary Anton Lagdameo, who is one of the original vice presidents of NUP. President uh, Rinaldo Tamayo of PFP. Our uh, senior deputy majority leader, Ferdinand Alexander uh, Marcos III. My colleagues, uh, President Tabila Fuerte, Secretary General Abet, ladies and gentlemen esteemed members of the National Unity Party and Partido Federal ng Pilipinas. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you today as chairman of the NUP to bear witness to a historic moment in our uh, national political landscape. Today, we embark on a journey of unity, collaboration, and shared vision as we form an alliance with Partido Federal, paving the way for a brighter future for our beloved country. As, this, as we stand before the President, the leader of our nation, we reaffirm our commitment to putting the interests of the people above all else. This alliance is a testament to our collective dedication to serving the needs of every Filipino citizen. Together, we are stronger, more resilient, and better equipped to tackle the challenges that lie ahead. In a time marked by division, discord, and international uncertainty, our alliance represents a beacon of hope, a symbol of what can be achieved when we work towards a common goal. We understand that the road ahead for our country will not always be easy, but we are prepared to face the trials and tribulations with unwavering determination and unwavering resolve. Mr. President, we stand before you today not as two separate entities, but as one united front, ready to heed your guidance and follow your initiatives for the betterment of our nation.
We pledge to you to uphold the values of democracy, justice, and equality, and to work tirelessly under your leadership to create a society, a bagong Pilipinas, where every individual has the opportunity to thrive and succeed. As we move forward, let us remember that our strength lies in our unity, our resilience, and our unwavering commitment to the people we serve. Together, we can overcome any obstacle, achieve any goal, and build a future that is brighter and more prosperous for all. Thank you, Mr. President, for your guidance and trust. And thank you to all our constituents and countrymen who have placed their trust in us. Let us embark on this journey together, hand in hand, towards a better tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you, NUP Chair Puno. This time, may we invite PFP National President Governor Reynaldo Tamayo Jr. to deliver his message. His Excellency uh, President Ferdinand Bumbo Marcos, officers uh, and members of Partido Federal ng Pilipinas, officers and members of uh, National Unity uh, Party, Ladies and gentlemen, isang napakagandang umaga sa ating lahat. Ang ara, mag magkakaiba man yung party principles na meron tayo. Pero ang araw na ito ay nagsisimbolo at nagpapaywatig na pagkakaisa sa adikain meron ang ating mahal na Pangulo tungo sa isang mapayapa at maunlad na bagong Pilipinas. Kung tayo ay nagkakaisa, mas madali nating maparating sa ating mga kababayan na dapat tayo ay magkaisa upang makamta natin ang tunay na progreso at development ng ating mahal na Pilipinas. Sa muli, mga party mates natin na andito at sa lahat ng mga officers and members ng NUP, Tuloy ang laban para sa bagong Pilipinas. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Governor Tamayo. To introduce our guest of honor, may we call on Special Assistant to the President, Antonio Lagdameo, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Thank you, uh, Sek uh, Anton uh, Lagdameo. Please, please take your seat. Uh, the uh, NUP Chairman, uh, Ronnie Puno, uh, the uh, NUP President and Kamsur uh, Second District Representative El Rey Villafuerte and the other uh, members of the uh, NUP and of course our, our, our my uh, party mates in the uh, uh, PSP who is led of course by, by ably led by Governor uh, Jun Tamayo uh, my, all, all of my fellow workers in government ladies and gentlemen good morning well, once again, it is, uh, it is a very bright day when uh, we are beginning to see constantly this uh, unification. This is something that we started actually uh, before the elections, uh, before the campaign of 2022. And it is good to see that we are still solidly behind that concept. Now, many commentators undoubtedly are going to say these are marriages of convenience. Uh, these are the usual political maneuverings in Philippine politics where every uh, party, every candidate or prospective candidate or any political leader for that matter uh, finds uh, where, is, where is it best, what is the most politically advantageous place to be in terms of my party affiliation. And uh, the, it has been, there is some truth to that. As the, uh, as the 
party uh, the, the 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 party alliances uh, on individual on especially on an individual basis can be seen as merely marriages of convenience and once again we since we are bringing all of these uh, uh, disparate forces together not so disparate but uh, separate forces together uh, we will again be seen and uh, commented upon and said to be another marriage of convenience well I, I i would like to uh, i would like to put paid to that idea i grew up um uh, studying political science uh, within watching these parliamentary systems in europe most film in europe but most specifically of course in england but i was exposed to politics party politics in that whole parliamentary um, uh, milieu, and we we watch. Uh, if you if you will look a little bit, when a party is called the Conservative Party, the ideology of that party is conservative. When they are called the Liberal Party, they are liberal in their ideology. When they are called the, for example, very the specific ones, uh, let me use again a uh, British example, SNP, Scottish Nationalist Party. They essentially exist as Scottish, Scottish Nationalists. The Green Party in Germany essentially uh, 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 gave birth to this party. Uh, Germany gave birth to this party because of the environmental issues. So central to each of these parties' existence is an ideology. And that is what I would see sometimes. Well, marriage of convenience, there is no ideology. Uh, so, that, but, so that is why I think that we are making a very important change in the thinking in the politics of the Philippines. Let us base it not on political expediency, but on ideology. And what is the ideology that we are espousing? We speak now of unity. We speak now of Bagong Pilipinas, bringing the country, transforming the country to another place, to a better place than we have found it. And that is what we plan to do. And we have come to the understanding and to the agreement that that can only be achieved if we have unity, if we all work to together. Not only us in the political uh, arena, but also everyone, every citizen, every agency of government, every local government, every citizen even, including even the private sector, that we have realized, and we must now come to that understanding, that we will only achieve the transformation that we dream about for the Philippines if we are united. If we agree, if there is consensus amongst us on what needs to be done, how we are going to do it, and we all work together. Now, the, the, this, is not a, this is not an easy road. There will be many times that uh, political forces will intrude upon that. And uh, that is life. That is political. That is a yanang buhay ng politiko. Uh, you also, of course, we dream and we there are principles that we uphold. But of course, there are political forces that uh, get in the way. But that is the whole point of these alliances that we are making. That is the whole point. Because we now formalize and put together a mechanism. If there are, in fact, these contradictions, if there are in fact these differences, that we now have a method to resolve them without going to extreme, uh, uh, undertaking extreme measures, uh, like moving away from the party, running as independent, having to, uh, 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 both allies uh, uh, fighting against each other politically, sometimes even more, <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, that is what, that is what uh, I see as what we are doing. So when people come to us and say, Pampolitika lang yan. Nangyari lang yan dahil sa eleksyon, parating na ang eleksyon. Well, we cannot deny there's truth to that. We have to organize ourselves for the next election. 
But we organize ourselves. That's not a marriage of convenience. It is an understanding that we must come together if we are to transform our country into the modern, safe, uh, sustainable, growing country that we dream of, that we have all dreamed of in all our lifetimes. Because at the heart of what we are doing is public service, and that is what we want to provide. So when they call us, when they, call, when they once again, when you hear that phrase, marriage and convenience, then let us answer them. No. Unity is, in fact, our ideology. That is what has brought us together. We do have ideals. This is not just to win the next election. This is to make the Philippines a better place. And that is what we are doing here. So it serves, our, it serves us to remind the commentators uh, that that is the case. But also it serves to remind ourselves, why are we doing all of this? Why are we doing whatever it is that we are doing? Why are we coming together? Are we coming together just so that we can support each other in the election? The, yes. But the reason we want to support each other in the election is because we want to work together. We want to work in, 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 with, with a common purpose in mind, with a consensus of what we are trying to do. And that, I believe, is what we are seeing here today with the alliances, the coalitions, whatever you want to call them, between the different political parties. And I think that that is what we are doing today. We are uniting behind the dream of transforming the Philippines. And that dream will be achieved by unity. So congratulations for joining that ideology, for believing in that ideology. It is the only way that we will make our country the country that the Filipinos deserve. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. President, for your encouraging words. At this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity.